Hey, shalom, warm, shalom, warm. giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Church of Great Millstone and Shalom warm to the sincere and hopeful light. You brothers out there that's pushing this truth and the true name and the true doctrine about the times of in the to for the kingdom of heaven is at hand is your brother Kudash Poyal. And what inspired me to do this lesson, basically to stand firm, right? To stand firm and you know, there's been people um, spotting trains carrying uh, uh, military equipment, um, people spotting military trucks, you know, um, occurring in different areas of the states, right? And they're getting, they get, you know, they want answers or whatever. And also, you have a lot of Walmarts that's being found suddenly empty. And, um... People saying that they've been putting new rooms of ga gas rooms in there or whatever, but you know we know that um, this whole plan, damn it, if you will, we all know what what it's what is leading to. Soon it's gonna be uh, uh, mandated throughout the globe, right? That's why you have all these trial runs consistently going on, you know. But see, Esau. Uh, they know that they have but a short time, right? And I'm going to play this swift uh, clip. I just put two of them together. These are just, you know, a few uh, of two of just uh, many. The scriptures speak about, you know, us, um, how the devil's going to come in like a flood, you know, the martial law, bringing people into these uh, camps. Like I made uh, the video, my last video going into it. But, you know, as far as, uh, um, as far as exhortation, man, we got to stand firm. We know these things are coming, but... We know who's controlling both sides. The scriptures say the deceiver and the deceiver is his. The Lord's controlling all of this. You know, this is this is going to be the, the, the final test, right? So we got to stand firm. And that's why I got this tree here. This is a, a frankincense tree. And these trees, they, they're they able to withstand the heat in, in deserted uh, areas. This uh, Some of them grow on rocks, you know? And it's heavy because um, that rock, you know, spiritually is your house, yeah, and that's what we're building our house on, you know, individually, because we're considered as lively stones, you know, and also trees, right? But this society, they built their foundation upon sand, and it's going down, right? It's going down like, like quicksand, but real swift, this is... Uh, Pardon me. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. It says and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his, is his treasure. Right? So our strength is going to come from the heavens. You know, when Yahweh Shah comes back with the holy angels, our strength comes from, from, from heaven, man, right? Which people, uh, these, these elites, they get their strength, what, by the sword? Because they was blessed with the sword, right? They're the gun, the military, the tanks. So the scriptures say, what are them that go down to Egypt for help? You know, because people are going to run to this because there are many, because they see what's going on. So they're going to, you know, through fear, they're going to submit, but... Hey, scriptures say, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at thy times. Right? So this is the wisdom of these scriptures, right? And knowledge shall be the stability at thy time. Because we're gonna um the men of the Lord that are are, are you know rehearsing these righteous acts, 
keeping the Lord's statutes, commands to the best of their ability, you know, prophesying, doing the will accordingly. On you know, the scriptures speak about how we conduct ourselves and how to use wisdom. You know, first of all, wisdom is like the scriptures say, wisdom is the beginning of knowledge. You know, fear. See, people don't fear the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick, right? Because if, if people that that's why they they're so in a, a disobedient uh, state of mind. Right, Salakia. This is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So people despise the instruction that the scriptures give out. See, when people don't fear the Lord, that's why they feel like they could do whatever they want. But see, they fear Esau. They fear the, these elites. They fear the military. Little do they know the Lord is using the elites, you know? For prophecy now, we're going to get that word stability. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And we're heading to, to, to some gruesome, uh, uh, turbulent times, man. Right? Strong's H530. Emunah. Emunah. Right? So firmness. Fidelity. Steadfastness. Steadiness. Right? Um, so, yeah, there you go. Literally firmness, steadiness. Right? While, while other people are panicking. Right? And the scriptures speak about famines, wars and rumors of wars, pestilence. You know, different type of earthquakes and, 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 and you know, disasters of the, of, of the, the weather. Right? Signs in the heavens. You know what I mean? So these things are occurring more and more. But what? The elect that put their faith in the Lord are going to what? Stand, stand firm. You know, like, like a, 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 a storm. When it comes, it, it destroys a lot of houses. It destroys things that's weak. But us being considered as stones or, or building our foundation on that stone, which the cornerstone is Yahweh so we building upon this word through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding according to this word. We're going to be unmovable when that storm comes. You know, and you got something called stormtroopers. Right? That's what, hey, man. So, another word for withstand. Matter of fact, let me see if it's in this, in this scripture. Uh, here it is. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So we're going to do all that we can so that way the Lord can find favor and have a mercy on us when all hell breaks loose, man. Right? So that word to withstand real quick is to remain undamaged or unaffected, unaffected by. Ooh, to resist. Right? And what? We're leading to that hour of temptation. When they're gonna bring that uh, uh, that that device to put in people, pursuing the revelation in thirteen chapter and the sixteen verse, so we're gonna resist that. The elect is gonna resist that um, to withstand, right? So now I'm gonna get. I want to get this real quick. There's the book of Second Esther, chapter two, verse twenty-one. It says. Uh, Salaki, verse 20, here it is, 27, 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 27, it says, be not weary, right, when we get that, that word weary, meaning, you know, don't get weak, don't faint, right, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, and that's what we're seeing, we're seeing the day of trouble, you know, Jacob's trouble, right, to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, Jacob is our forefather. So when we say Jacob's trouble, we're referring to troubled times coming upon our people, man. Right? Because it's prophetic. It's prophecy. And the Lord is going to bring judgment upon this place. You know, and the doors of repentance is closing. We've seen that uh, uh, by these prophecies uh, uh, unfolding more and more, quicker and quicker. It says, For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, 
Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Right? There's another scripture that speaks about how they, uh, my servants shall eat. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, but you know what? Let me finish this though real quick. Uh, it says, Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save the Lord. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Right? And the Lord speaks about, uh, you know, how, um, matter of fact, there was a, a point where I believe it was Paul or Peter, when they was in jail, they sent up prayers and it caused the earthquakes, you know, for them to uh, unloose the shackles, right? And one of the guards saw, but they told him that he, he could be, uh, um, basically, that him and his house could be saved, you know, if he believes. You know what I mean? So the Lord can save you and your house. Or, hey, however the predicament goes. I mean, your woman and your children may be taken away. You know, but this is why, this is in these times of heaviness, we got to keep our faith. We got to stay grounded. You know, stand firm. Right? Steadfastness. You know, unmovable. Right? Through your faith, man. You know? Not letting a, a, a temptation bring you, you know, uh, uh, bring you to submission. You know? So these are exhort, uh, words of exhortation. Now let's get uh, real quick. Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah 59 verse 19. Right? Because it's not a coincidence that all these things going on in uh, Afghanistan right now and Biden bringing back the troops. And now you're having uh, more rebels over there, more, uh, I guess, ISIS and Al-Qaeda and all of them coming together. So who knows what's going to happen, man? Maybe a false flag, you know, but nevertheless to distribute the liquid which will boil you down to the device they're going to use the mil military to distribute this and the world health organization spoke about going door to door and and taking children fam and separating families but you know scriptures uh, speak about when they shall come in like a flood which is their um their troops right this is isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. it says so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So we, we want these things to occur quicker because when they make their move, the Lord is going to make his move, right? But it said the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So you're going to have the Lord intervene. You're going to have spiritual intervention, man, right? But faith will lead, lead to spiritual intervention. So let's get that um, standard. Strong's H5127. Noose. Noose. It says to flee, escape. To flee, to escape, to take flight, to depart, disappear, right? And there's been uh, different accounts where, you know, you had uh, the centurions that tried to uh, catch Yahweh shot, but he ended up dis uh, disappearing, you know? But the Lord is going to have it to where, you know, hey, the scriptures say the angels encamp around them that fear the Lord, so, you know, Hey, the Lord's gonna do some miraculous things for the for them that that sincerely, truly believe and have faith in Him, right? Um, who knows? The Lord could put spiritual uh, spiritual power on you to teleport or or to fly or something. You know what I mean? It's not impossible with the Lord. It says to fly. Oh snap! I really didn't know that. To the attack on horseback. Um, okay. 
put to flight, to drive hastily. Okay? And the Lord is going to, uh, uh, when all these things come to pass, when they come in and mandate everything and come down like a flood with martial law, you know, World War Three is going to occur when this thing is mandated. That's when Yahweh Shai is going to, uh, the uh, Yahweh is going to use Yahweh Shai and the Holy Angels to intervene to, uh, to destroy this place and also to redeem his elect. Right, because that's the name of the, uh, that's Yahweh Shah's name. He is the deliverer. Right, so how is he not going to deliver his people, man? You know, his elect. Right. So anyway, you know, f uh, uh, like the scriptures say, fear none of those things which which thou shalt suffer. Right, fear not. Uh, matter of fact, let's see. Uh, I don't want to, uh. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 25. It says, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence. So we're supposed to have confidence in the Lord, man. Not what was me spare being in doubt, you know, because that's showing lack of faith. Right? It says, And shall keep thy foot from being taken. So the Lord's going to, you know, however he's going to do it. He's going to make it happen. Scriptures tell you time and time again, over and over. You know? So it says, And shall keep thy foot from being taken. Why? Because the scriptures speak about how they shall come in and take some of you. You know? Roughly paraphrasing. Now we've seen that happening throughout different countries and states around the uh, our earth. You know? Due to this whole pandemic going on. They separating. And, and, and hey, Yahweh Shah spoke about division. I'm like, you know? We're going to see that happen. But have faith, you know, that you, you know, because the scriptures also speak about um, some not tasting death, right? So keep that confidence, you know, and exhort them, exhort one another. Like the scriptures say, uh, I believe in Acts, Acts 22 and 14, if I'm not mistaken. Here it is. It says, um, pardon me, Acts, here it is, Acts chapter 14 verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation, so we're going to have trials and tribulation coming, that's how we, you know, we're going to be purged, you know, our faith is going to be tried, you know what I mean? And the Lord knows who's who, man. It says, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. You know, and Yahweh had to go through it. Our forefathers had to go through it. So we're not any greater, man. Right? Anyway, so with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying and exhorting to the spirit and power of Yahweh Until next time. <laughs>